Zahura Begum fled to Bangladesh looking for safety after facing military crackdown in Myanmar. But this is what she's dealing with now. Her makeshift home at this refugee camp in Cox's Bazar went up in flames on Sunday. We have experienced a similar tragedy in Burma. Now my home here is gone and I lost everything. We barely managed to get out alive from this fire. People who live here say fire incidents are becoming increasingly frequent in the camp. They belong to Myanmar's minority Muslim Rohingya community who have faced years of persecution back home. There are many Rohingya volunteers who are now trained by the UN and other aid agencies to deal with such an emergency. Volunteers like me used mini scooters equipped with water tanks and tried to douse the fire. Today we arrange food and water for those who are displaced by the fire incident. Many of the families who lost their makeshift homes are now living under the open sky. I just ran with my children. Everything is destroyed. We lost everything we had. The commissioner in charge of the refugee camp says the government will help those who have been affected. We had uh, taken some decision regarding the rehabilitation of the people who uh, lost their shelters. So at night, actually, no one was under the open sky that was ensured. We provided uh, food, uh, dry food in, uh, initially, later on uh, hot meal. According to a report by the Bangladeshi Ministry of Defense, there have been more than 200 fires in the refugee camps since January 2021. Most of them were accidents, but at least 60 were caused by arson or sabotage. The fire has swung the spotlight back on the struggles, the traumas and tragedies faced on daily basis by everyone here. Despite all the odds, many are trying to rebuild their shelters in the same area. This fire is a reminder of the many challenges facing the Rohingya refugees. They're caught between the increasingly dangerous situation in Bangladesh and a new political reality of a homeland now led by the same military junta responsible for the crackdown that forced them to flee in the first place. Chanvir Chaudhary, Al Jazeera, Cox's Bazaar, Bangladesh.